Fantastic. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on this December edition of the Two Bedroom Condos available on Ambergris Key Belize right now. It is December 2022 as we're doing this webinar here, and we are in our winter season. Uh, for those of you who are in the north, I apologize for saying this, but we are in our cooler temperatures here. It's about mid-70s during the evenings and about low 80s during the daytime. It's a little bit breezier this time of year as well. So it feels a little bit cooler than it is. But for those of you who may be feeling some cooler temperatures up north, um, do join us down here in Belize if you're looking to get to the tropics. It just is a, a pretty nice pretty nice temperature. And it's funny for those of us who've been here for a while, we do start to feel a chill and you'll see the locals all dressed up in parkas and jackets as they're, uh, they're driving around on their golf carts because it's just a little cooler than normal. At this time of year too, we tend to see it's a little bit less humid than the other times of the year. So it just does feel a little bit cooler. So as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about two bedroom condos available on the market right now. And with that, let's just jump right in. So my name is Rachel Jensen. I am the owner of Luna Realty Belize. Uh, Belize has been my home for the last 10 years. I'm originally from New York and 2012 was my first trip down here to the country to Ambergris Key. I was actually living in Nicaragua at that time and was coming back and forth between Nicaragua and Belize for work purposes and I realized I really enjoyed Belize a little bit more than I enjoyed living in Nicaragua. I felt I had more friends here, we'll say, because Belize is just such an easy place to meet people especially Ambergris Key. It's just so easy to strike up conversations with people and ultimately have these friends and have people to do things with. And it really just felt like home. So I did make Belize my home. And uh, this is where I'm calling you from today. And today, actually, we have our Christmas tree lighting in Central Park that's uh, happening in the next hour here. So that's going to be exciting. It's a fun way for the community to come together. And for me, that was something that was really important when I was moving to a new country was having that, that community, right? That aspect. I'm here without any friends or family, per se, or anyone that I really knew prior to coming. And so having that community was something that was really important. And I have certainly found it here on Ambergris Key. And if you're somebody who's looking to relocate, locate, perhaps this is an important aspect for you too, is having that sense of community and, and others here that you can do things with. And Ambergris is really well known for that. There's always something going on, always ways for you to get involved, meet other community members, whether it's volunteering or participating in different events or whatnot. I'm also, I also sit on the board for the Belize National Association of Real Estate and uh, can certainly help answer any questions that you may have about the real estate market here. So during the next minute, soon it'll be about 30 minutes, but during the next 30 minutes, I want to just highlight some Belize real estate disclaimers with you. We're obviously going to be going through the two bedroom condo options available right now and then have an open forum of questions and answers. So before we jump into the opportunities, I do want to give you a few disclaimers. I see a handful of names on here that I recognize. So I appreciate you for, for joining and getting educated and seeing what the latest and greatest is. Uh, for those who are new to these sessions, um, these are important you know, considerations that I do want to share with you. So do note that the opportunities that I'm talking about are available at the time of us doing this session or of the recording. But if you're tuning in afterwards, because we do get a lot of folks listening to this on YouTube afterward, do note that it may not be available at the time that you're listening. But best thing you can do is just reach out to me. Email address is down here, info at lunarealtybelize.com to get the latest on the market. Um, also, the really great news is that foreigners can receive title in Belize. And I do like to highlight this because I personally have also been looking at real estate in different parts of the world. And each country has different laws when it comes to foreigners. And you're not always able to get title in all countries if you're a foreigner, but Belize, you are able to. There are two different types of titles here in Belize. One is freehold and the other is strata. Freehold really exists for single family homes. It's when you own the land and then you own the structure on the land. And then strata is the other one. And that's more common for condos. And I say tiny homes because typically tiny homes are built multiple homes on one piece of titled land. So you do tend to find that that they are strata titled. But um, I would highly recommend, I'm going to jump down here a little bit. Though. I'm going to highly recommend that you work with a real estate attorney when it comes to closing. These real estate attorneys and closing agents are incredible at what they do. They make sure that they do all of the due diligence on the property prior to you committing to purchasing it so they can do the title check, make sure that the person who signed the property has free and clear title. Super important because although there are tons of great opportunities out there, if they haven't been vetted, if there's not a confirmation that they are titled and whoever the name is selling it, then there's just no confirmation that that title could eventually be transferred over to you. So do make sure you are working with an attorney there. Also do note that all of the prices that I mentioned are priced in US dollars. 
It is extremely common for real estate real estate transactions here to be done in US dollars, especially between foreigners and foreigners. So what's great for you is if you do have property here and you are selling it to a foreigner, you end up getting US dollar for it, right? You're not getting Belize dollars. It's quite difficult to exchange Belize dollars for large sums of US dollar. So this way you don't have to go through that. I know I've had some clients who were a little iffy about using escrow accounts in the United States. However, this is extremely common because your, your transactions are happening in US dollars. And also note that the prices do not include the 8% stamp tax and the attorney fees and or the attorney fees. So I, I tell people just, I would suggest um, estimating on the higher end, I'd say 10, 11% on top of the purchase price is what I would recommend that you hold on to uh, when it comes to making sure you have a proper budget set. In addition to that, uh, there is no MLS in Belize. It's something as a real estate association we're looking to accomplish over the next year or two, but it is something that is not currently existing, which is why we always recommend working with a real estate agent in the country because real estate agents tend to have some more insight as to what's available uh, than, than folks who aren't in real estate. And then also, if you see something that you like, feel free to just reach out and make an offer. Uh, a lot of the prices in Belize are negotiable. And, you know, sometimes it depends on the seller. Maybe they weren't initially planning to offer seller financing, but maybe now they're just so ready to sell that they will offer seller financing. So do make sure that you always are looking and, and making an offer if you see something that's attractive to you. And I don't have this disclaimer here, but I just thought about it and I want to share it with you is that financing in Belize is very difficult to get as a foreigner. So unless there's developer financing or seller financing, uh, you probably won't be able to find another way to get it. Now, I know there are some alternatives. Some people are able to get to get um, to find loopholes and, and good ways to get financing. Uh, but just understand that if you're coming down here looking at a Belize bank, you typically will not get the financing because you are a foreigner. So with that being said, a lot of the developers and sellers, if they are offering financing, typical terms are about 50% down, 50% down, and interest rate is typically about 8%. And then also there is an amortization schedule of about 30 years, which is what many of us are used to, but there's a five-year balloon. So that means after the, the fifth year, so you pay, pay your schedule as if it's a 30-year term, but after the fifth year, you'll have to pay the balance on that loan. So it's a 25-year uh, balance that you'd have to pay off at that time. So you just have to make sure you're budgeting correctly over the years to be able to pay off that balloon at the end. And typically, if you are financing, then you will not receive the title until your financing um, is completely paid off or your loan is completely paid off. And at that point, that's when the title will be transferred to you. There are escrow services for the, for the seller to put the title in the attorney's hands so that it can't go anywhere in the meantime. But just understand that you typically will not receive the physical title until that agreement is paid off. All right, so quick poll for you here. Let me launch that. And this is just for me to learn a little bit more about you is have you been to Belize yet? Yes. And I'm guessing you loved it. If you're on this session now Two, not yet, but your trip is already booked or three, not yet, but you haven't planned anything yet. So a yes, B not yet, but my trip is already planned or booked and then C not yet, but I haven't planned anything yet. And I'll give you guys just a couple more minutes there or a couple more seconds. Fantastic. And it looks like about half of the group here has uh, come about 33% has not yet come, but their trip is booked. Awesome. Glad you're doing your homework and ahead of time. And then 17% has not yet come um, and they don't have anything planned yet. All right. Well, hopefully you do join us down here in Belize soon. There's a lot of fun stuff going on in the real estate market. So today we're specifically talking about two bedroom condos. Obviously there's a lot more available than two bedrooms and condos, but I have found that this is a popular market for folks who are coming down they're typically looking at two bedrooms because they want a bedroom maybe for when guests come or an office. Um, we do get people who are still working. So they're looking for that, that space where they can do their work from, or they're just looking for it because they want some extra storage room or whatever the case may be. Uh, folks have a lot of different reasons why they're looking at two bedrooms. And just to give you a quick highlight, and this is at the time of doing the session, there are about 160 resale two bedrooms on the market right now in Ambergris Key specifically. This does not include developments. This is just purely really resale um resale condos now the average price of these 160 is about 400,000 uh, 400,000 US is about the average price for a two bedroom on the market right now now i mentioned that the number there 160 does not include the development numbers for the new developments that are going up we're seeing that the average price there is about 450,000 
And it makes sense when you start to run numbers, construction costs here for a, a good product, you know, not super luxury, but a good, nice product is about 200 square feet or $200 a square foot. So if you're looking at a two bedroom home, that's about our condo, that's about 1500 square feet. You're looking at a price of about 300,000 plus you need to include land plus a few other features. So um, 450,000 for a two bedroom is make, makes sense in the marketplace when it comes to new construction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you nine opportunities that are available right now. As you can see, there are a lot more than just those nine, but this is a good average of, of what's out there currently. And if you'd like any more information, feel free to uh, reach out as we go through them. So today we're specifically highlighting Ambergris Key. And for those of you who haven't been to the island yet, we're located here about 40 miles northeast of Belize City. The star right over here is Belize City. I'm going to move my picture so that you can read that there. Uh, so the star here is Belize City. You can get to the island either by Puddle Jumper, which is a small plane. It's about 15 minutes from the city. Or you can take a boat, which is about an hour and a half uh, from Belize City as well. So a couple of options for you. And if you are flying into the country, you're going to fly into BZE. Do know that there is another airport in the country, in, uh, in Belize City specifically, TZA, that's Belize City Municipal Airport, Belize City Municipal Airport. So if you're not coming into the mainland to go to the airport, like let's say you have a, a day tour or day trip on the mainland, I would highly recommend you flying into TZA, which is the municipal airport there. But enough about that. Uh, the island here is about 26 miles long and about one mile wide at its widest point. Uh, there is a little break in the uh, in the, the island, and that's where we have the bridge. And so when you hear people say, all right, it's three miles north or two miles north, it's north of the bridge. So if you follow the pin over here on the right-hand side, this is the area where the bridge is, the town, and then there's the bridge over here. So when we say three miles north, we're talking about three miles over the bridge, which brings us into about this area over here and then uh, continues up the island. So I do want you to bear that in mind because when I highlight the locations here for the different properties, I'm using the location relative to the bridge. So if I say three miles north or three miles south, it's south of this location over here. So uh, just to help you bear in mind and get your bearings a little bit more about where we're talking about. All right, so we're gonna hop right into the opportunities. Now on the left-hand side here, you'll see the number um, I mentioned I have nine opportunities for you here. If any of these nine opportunities you'd like to learn more about, just jot this number in an email and send it off to me, info at lunarealtybelize.com, and we can get you details for it. So as I was exploring opportunities, um, I wanted to share with you the most affordable two-bedroom that's on the market right now. Um, I, haven't, excuse me, I haven't found one that's less than this, uh, but I do think this is a great option for the price. It's about $130,000, 700 square feet. And this is a container home. So you can start, you can see that a little bit here from the exterior and also from the rooftop over there. But this is a container home. It's a two bedroom, one bath, I mentioned 700 square feet. And it has that more of a modern feel to the interior of it. You're able to rent it out on a nightly basis or long-term basis. And it does overlook the canal. So this property is about 1.5 miles south of the bridge. Uh, south of town, and it is located in an area called San Pablo. San Pablo is more of a residential area. It's an up and coming area, I would say. It's where you tend to find a lot of the larger uh, single family homes for locals. Also, a lot of the expats are starting to move into the San Pablo area, buying land, building single family homes, or buying other single family homes here because it is quite affordable, uh, especially compared to being on the coast. So, in this area, San Pablo, you're not on the reef side, but there are plenty of canals here. And so you still have that water view as well. So this is a great option for somebody who's looking to come in, looking for something affordable. You want to be close to town. You want to be in an up and coming area and you still have that water view there. So this one has the basic furniture included. And you can see here, there is a little stove, the oven, uh, the refrigerator, and uh, just a spacious layout too. I think it was very, very well laid out. Again, this is option number one. This is the two bedroom container home in San Pablo. Number two, this is also in that San Pablo area. This is a two bedroom, two bath, almost 900 square feet going for a little bit less than 190,000. This one, it can be financed. And similar to the canal home that we saw previously, this one is on the canal. It also has a pool, which is a nice added amenity. The, the box homes or the, that we saw previously does not have a pool. So this is a nice addition to the community. So you're able to still jump in the pool and, and relax a little bit. 
Um, I say that the structure, the structure is great. It was built in 2010. It's a great structure. Uh, but I do say that the interior needs a little bit of TLC. It has a very basic finish to it. The furniture is very basic. Uh, but here we tend to see a lot of long-term renters, people who are coming who don't necessarily need to spend twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a month on a long-term rental in the country. They're coming down, they maybe they want to explore a island living, or they've already been on the island for a while and they want to be away from the tourists. This is a great option for them. But I'd say you can give it a little bit of a facelift, upgrade it a little bit more, and you know, you put ten, fifteen thousand dollars into it, and you can really get a really nice product from it. But there are options available on the first floor over here and the second floor. And then the canal, if you can follow my cursor, is in this area right over here. And again, it can be put into the rental program and is very popular with the long-term renters. All right, so that's number two, and that's the canal front living. Again, if, if anything pops up and is of interest to you, just feel free to reach out, info at lunarealtybelize.com, and we'll get you all the listing details. All right, number three, this is located in the Costa del Sol area. So if you're in San Pedro town, it's about half a mile west of town. And I'm actually gonna go back to the map for this just to give you a little bit more um, of a visual. So here's the pin and of where San Pedro is. And so it's about half a mile west. So you go across the bay over here. And then this is the Costa del Sol area. Costa del Sol uh, is an area that's seen a lot of development recently. Aruna Resort and Villas. I know some of you have heard me talk about that. That's in this area over here. Um, the Test Village homes are over there. But also there's a, there's a property called Brahma Blue. And these, uh, this specific condo, this two bed, two bath is located within that Brahma Blue community. It's going for 269 and it's 1500 uh, square feet. Again, all of this is in US dollars. I think this is a real steal for the price uh, because you do get water views, unobstructed water views of the bay. And you also have sunset views here. And it's a really spacious space. And in addition to that, you can see there's the stainless steel. It's a nice sized kitchen and the furniture is included. There is a rental program there at Brahma Blue already. Uh, there are folks who are living there full time, but do note because of the location, you will have to take the boat going back here. You will have to take the boat to go back and forth between the bay, but that's not something for you to worry about because the community is part of the community. They have a boat that is accessible for the owners and guests. It's on a schedule. If you wanna go back and forth to town outside of that schedule, then you can pay for that extra usage, but it is still convenient for you to get there. Um, that's why this one is priced a little bit lower. I think if it was in town, it would probably be about another 50,000, 60,000 more expensive. But I do see that area there in the Costa del Sol becoming much more popular. So this is number three. This is the bay views from your veranda. You can see the views here on the left-hand side, looking out, seeing the water, and then the sunset is right there as well. And I have, again, plenty of pictures if you wanna see additional information here, info at lunarealtybelize.com. All right, this brings us to number four. Uh, number four is located about two miles north of the bridge, and it's a really interesting property in the sense that it's not the traditional box or rectangle. It's, a, I think, it's a, an octagon at the end of the day when you look at the shape of the structure, which makes it quite unique, but it's a two-bedroom, two-bath. This one specifically is located on the corner here, and it directly faces the Caribbean. So there are about, um, about 40 other condos in this community, and they're all two-story so you don't have large condo buildings per se, but it's two-story structures. Uh, you know, one floor is a two-bedroom and then the other floor below or above maybe a one-bedroom. But you don't have these large skyscrapers, for example. And I guess skyscrapers is a bit of a stretch on Amber Grisky, but you don't have those big, tall buildings. And so this one's going for about 340000 It's 1,100 square feet. It has that full kitchen there. It does not have a washer dryer, but you are able to add one in if you choose to. My personal opinion on this in this unit is it's a real unique, awesome opportunity um, because of the location. You're looking directly out at the water. You have an incredible veranda that wraps around the building. And this, this specific condo here is one of the highest generators of rental income for the entire property. So when you compare it to the other condos that are in the rental program, it's this one here that continues to rent the best. A lot of that is primarily due to the incredible location within the site. So this is the Caribbean front views from your porch, number four. If you want more information, feel free to, uh, to let me know. All right, number five here is the overwater bungalow. And this is located uh, whew, right over the bridge, about, about a quarter mile after the bridge. And it's located, so it's accessible by golf cart. And I find this interesting because you're able to actually drive your golf cart, follow my cursor, you're able to drive your your golf cart up here on the boardwalk. So 
There are some over the water homes that are going in that are not accessible by golf cart um, over in that Coast Del Sol area, but this one is specifically, and it's located just a couple minutes over the bridge. So you're able to just go right up there directly to your bungalow. And it's this condo over here that is available. And I guess condo or villa is probably a better word for it, but it's a two bed, one bath. And this one can be put into the rental program. The owner has actually never been down here to Belize. And so she has had it in the rental program. So if you're somebody who wants to do the same, you're able to do that. Uh, or if you do want to live here full time, you can do that as well. Um, I know you can't see the backside of the starfish unit, but there's these really neat plunge pools. And this is a single standing um, two bedroom, one bath. So there's, it's not a duplex or anything. It's a single standing one. And there's the, the nice plunge pools there. There are swings. And there's also a garage right here, which is doesn't currently have anything in it. But if you did want to convert it to another bathroom, for example, you could do that. You want to use it as storage, you can do that as well. Um, but this one's quite unique. It has a, a glass square within the uh, home to be able to look right down. And this is a really popular area for fly fishing. So there are people who will just walk right out here and, and, and do fly fishing. So if that's something that's of interest to you, you can do it right off of your deck over there. This is number five, over water bungalow. And if you haven't noticed, we're going in an order of pricing. So we started at least expensive. Now we're working our way up. All right. The next option here is a modern bayfront duplex. And this is a, has a boat slip. So this is a new listing. It's about a mile north of the bridge. And these are going for about 500000 per villa. It's a two bed, two and a half bath. They're built on demand. And these are duplexes. And there are six duplexes with two, obviously, villas in each duplex. So 12 villas in total. HOA here is an affordable $350 per month. And this is something I want to highlight because this is something that we really don't see all that often in San Pedro or Belize generally, is there is owner financing, developer financing with this project. These are brand new homes and the developer is willing to finance on a 30 year term. It's 8% interest. You have to put 50% down, but the owner is willing to finance on a 30 year amortization schedule. In a lot of cases, the financing is just a five year term, but the developer is willing to do 30. So just something that's uh, good for you to hold on to. And I think this is, and this property I find it's really quite interesting because it has the boat slips as well. And you can start to see that here. This is an aerial view. Um, and it's located on the bay side. So what I like about it too is there's the sunset there. You don't get any of the seagrass that comes up seasonally. And it just is really a beautiful, beautiful location. Um, it's in a very convenient location as well. It's just a mile over the bridge. So it's in that Trace Cocos area. And Trace Cocos is what we refer to as like the Beverly Hills of Ambergris Key. It's where you tend to find the larger homes and uh, whatnot. So there is a furniture package available if you want but it's currently, um, you don't necessarily need it if you don't want to. I'd say this is a great option for somebody who perhaps wants to cater towards long-term renters, or you're perhaps looking for a place that you want to relocate to at some point. This, I think, is a great place to be uh, living in. And if you're somebody who wants to have a boat, you don't need to add your, you don't need to bring a boat here, don't need to have a boat, but there is a boat slip. And that's something that's just not as common with a lot of the developments. So this is six, and these are more modern bayfront duplexes. Uh, the developer doesn't have a ton of renderings at this point, but we can certainly send you uh, what we do have and what there is so that you can see a little bit more if this is of interest. But um, balconies, there's a nice size balcony over here, living room, dining room space, the kitchen. And um, then there's two bathrooms here and then that half bath that we mentioned over here. So it's just a really livable space with an open floor plan. And uh, it's quite spacious too at 1650 uh, square feet there. All right, number six, this is the modern Bayfront. Let's go to number seven. So number seven, number seven is a luxury waterfront, two bed, two bath. It's quite large, almost 2000 square feet. And there are options on the first floor and also on the second floor. So they're both going for 595. The owner is willing to finance 50% on a short-term basis. So over a few year period, but this is probably one of my favorite complexes on Amber Grisky. It's just really, really well done. It's high quality. The finishes inside are immaculate. There's beautiful archways. You can see here the kitchen. I mean, I think this is probably one of the nicest kitchens I've seen on Amber Grisky. It has a tavertine floors and also a dishwasher, nice high-end stainless steel appliances. And it's just a really, really beautiful property. With the two bedroom, two bath here on the first floor, there are stairs. So you're able to actually walk right down and be there on the water. The second floor, obviously there aren't stairs, but they're each going for $5.95. And uh, 
like I mentioned, 50% financing. This one hasn't been listed yet. The listing was just sent to our web guide to get it up online. So you're seeing it a little bit before it enters the market here, but I think it's a real, a real winner. And the fact the owner is willing to finance that 50% makes it even a, a lot more attractive. Um, this property, Oceans 23, it's called. You can look it up online. They have fantastic reviews when it comes to the rentals. So if you're somebody who's wanting to have it in the rental program, perhaps, and come down and come and go as you please, you're certainly able to do that. There's no restrictions when it comes to owner usage. So come down as often as you want, live in it for half the year, put in the rental program the other half of the year, totally, totally up to you. So this one's number seven. It's a large luxury waterfront located here on the Caribbean side with the reef right out there in the distance. All right, we're gonna to jump to number eight. And this is a beachfront villa at Marriott Autograph Collection. This one's going for 659. It's larger in size as well, about 1877 square feet. And it is beachfront. So you see here, there's the, the sand, the lounge chairs, and then there's the water, if you can follow my cursor right over here. I'd say this property is really designed for an investor. You can come down and you have up to six weeks of personal usage per year, but it is primarily an investment. You get title to it, and then you receive the rental income that is generated as a result of the income generated from your villa. So do note there is up to 60% financing. This is a little unusual when it comes to owner financing because usually it's 50% down. But again, it's really geared towards the investor. If you're somebody who wants to live in your villa or perhaps have that opportunity to live in it down the line, this is not, not really right for you. Um, but if you're that investor, this is a great option. This is located 1.5 miles south in uh, of San Pedro. And then last but not least, we have the in-town comfort, which is overlooking the Caribbean. This is almost 2,000 square feet, this home. It is uh, it is a second floor option for you. It's in a smaller, com sorry, third floor. Um, it has unobstructed views. It has, it's in a smaller complex. So three floors is the largest floor, number of floors that you'll see. And as you can see here from the top photo, you really have the unobstructed views of the Caribbean. This property opened up in 2009, has an extremely established rental program. There are very high reviews for this property. Uh, it is fully furnished, but you can see it does come with a higher price tag because it is very, very well built and it is considered a high, high end luxury property. So this is actually located in the San Pedro downtown area. Um, but it's neat because it's in its own little nook. You know, you, even though San Pedro downtown can be a little crazy at points um, or just you know, a lot of people, this is really kind of squirreled away in its own little area. So you don't necessarily hear the craziness of downtown, but you're able to walk out and and go, you know, a few meters and, and be at the Boca del Rio bars if you choose or be in the downtown San Pedro area. So it's very, very conveniently located. Again, this is fully furnished and it's an extremely established rental program. So this is number nine. This is the in-town comfort overlooking the Caribbean. And that about wraps it up. I'm going to do a quick recap of the nine opportunities here. If you see any that are of interest, feel free to reach out. So we have number one, it's the most affordable two bedroom on the market right now going for 129.9. We have the canal front um, living in the up and coming area of San Pablo. This is going for 189.9. This is the no, option number two. Option number three is the bay views from your veranda going for 269, two bed, two bath, 1500 square feet. Option number four is the Caribbean front views from your porch going for 339. It's 1100 square feet. Over water bungalows, super unique. Um, this one going for 350, two bed, one bath. The modern bayfront duplex, option number six. And this does have that uh, that boat slip there, 499, 495 per villa. And that is 1,650 square feet. Number seven is a musty luxury waterfront condo going for 595 with owner financing. Number eight is the Beach Run Villa at the Marriott Autograph going for 659. This is uh, also has owner financing. And then number nine here is the ultra luxury uh, third floor two bed going for 849 uh, located in San Pedro downtown. So if there's anything that you saw of interest, feel free to reach out. I know people are listening to this at various points. So just reach out to see what is the latest and greatest if you are considering a two-bedroom condo. <clears throat> and then also, I always like to invite folks to our upcoming Belize briefs. We have our next educational series on December 13th. It's going to be 10 a.m. Eastern. If you're in Pacific time, I know it's early, but still register because we are going to be recording it and we'll send out the recording afterwards. This is a great one. This is if you are an American, the great news is you can use your IRA to own property in Belize. And so this session is going to be with an IRA company in the States. They're going to walk us through what that process looks like. 
The next one is a property update. I know many of you have been following Aruna. We're going to have a construction update on Friday, December 16th. And then the next educational series is going to be what you need to know about HOA or homeowners associations in Belize. And that's going to be happening Tuesday, December 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. You can find all of the upcoming webinars on the website, lunarealtybelize.com backslash webinars. We also put the recordings up there thereafter if you can't join, but would love for you to register so you at least get a copy of the recording straight to your inbox. With that being said, um, reach out for any specific property information. I'm really glad that all of you were able to join us this evening. I think we we're able to keep it at about 30 minutes. So I'm happy to see that. And I really appreciate everyone joining us this evening. Have a fantastic day, a fantastic evening, and we will uh, be in touch. Bye, everyone.